Hey guys, Fragner22 here, and welcome to my September 7th DVD update. I apologize for the complete lack of a DVD update in the month of August, but the activity on the channel was pretty slow during the summer months, and although I had like a ton of shit to show you guys in August, I just wanted to wait until, you know, uh, the channel picked up steam again, so being as how I've been, you know, away for well over, well over a month um, for this segment, I have so much shit to show you, so this is absolutely going to be like a multi-part DVD update, just I'm um, clicking to the info box of each um, installment of this and you'll find a link to the next one or you can just hop over to the DVD updates playlist and you'll find all of the installments of the September 7th DVD update. But uh, this is probably the most massive DVD update I've, I've ever shown you guys and if you guys haven't um, gotten a vibe of my taste already just based on all the segments I've done on the channel, this is probably my most diverse DVD update and really gives you a good sense of like all of my tastes and interests as far as uh, film and television goes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, the first one I got was a TV series that just um, recently came to DVD this summer, and it was a short-lived show that, um, you know, you never really thought that this would come to DVD, but lo and behold it did, and it's uh, The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, the complete series. This is an unusual one, because it only lasted like 13 episodes, but um, it's cool, man. You get like an animated Vincent Price in this who lends his, uh, who lends his voice to it, he plays a character in the role, and... Uh, it's different this time around. It's only Shaggy, um, Scooby, and uh, I believe uh, Daphne. Um, and, like, you know, some new characters. You have Scrappy in this and some other uh, bastard child that, like, follows them around. He's some, like, I don't know, like, Hawaiian kid or something. It's really weird. But um, the show is actually pretty decent. And like I said, I mean, for the inclusion of Vincent Price alone, this is definitely just one of those shows that you would want to pick up just because of, like, you know, how uh, unique it is. But, yeah, it's definitely a cool one to have. I believe I only paid, like, 15 bucks for it. Um, the next one I got was actually one that I had heard that uh, the edition that I, I got, which was the special two-disc meltdown edition, was on its way out the door, meaning that it's actually going out of print. And uh, word around uh, the street was that the only place you could get this was deep discount. So I put my order in for this. They luckily had it, but it practically took like a month for them to ship it to me. But the way it was worth it, so I got my hands on a brand new copy of uh, the special two-disc meltdown edition of Street Trash. Uh, I had never seen this movie before I got it, and I'm really, really happy that I got this because this movie is so warped and wild. It's from 1987, just really, really cool, uh, gross-out, uh, you know, uh, effects in this, and it's a, it's a really unique one, man. It's just, it's just great. Uh, late 80s, you know, grindhouse filmmaking at its best. I think you can still get the one-disc edition of this, but there's apparently a really gnarly um, documentary on this, and uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I hear the, you know, the documentary on this is mainly the bigger reason why you would want to get the two-disc edition, so if you can still scoop it up or find it anywhere, I would recommend getting this one, because like I said, this one was, uh, this edition is on its way out, and it uh, may be permanently out of print for the time being, so really happy to have that one. Uh, the next one I got, now of course you know that I'm a huge lover of Shout Factory, especially their Roger Corman cult classics lineup. So any of you guys that haven't bought those DVDs, get your asses out there and get them because it's probably the best fucking DVD collection these days to collect. I love them. I'm such a big enthusiast. I It doesn't matter if the film is on DVD and Blu-ray. I buy them both because I'm that big of a supporter or just maybe a huge fucking sucker. I don't know. But nonetheless, I uh, scooped up the DVD version of Galaxy of Terror which was a really, really sought-after um, film. It had been bootlegged to hell on uh, the bootlegger circuit, so Shout Factory treats us to an incredible edition of this film. This is such a great movie. You have uh, Sid Haig, Robert England, you have an infamous maggot rape scene on a chick. Need I say more? If you haven't heard about this movie, just based on my words right there, all the more reason to see this. The, the special features are unreal, and uh, the print looks really, really great, so absolutely check this one out. Interestingly enough, I scooped this bad boy up on Blu-ray as well. Like I was saying, I'm a huge, huge supporter of this lineup, guys. Shout Factory, Roger Corman's cult classics. These movies have never been given, a, you know, better treatment. Some of them are being released for the first time, um, legitimately, like Galaxy of Terror here. And they're just, the prints look amazing, and the special features are well worth the price, you know, for these. Uh, they're just really, really incredible. So, yeah, I got this one on Blu-ray. Awesome flick. Um, another one that I got from the Roger Corman cult classic line was Forbidden World. Um, this was really cool. I was really uh, pleasantly surprised uh, with this. Great cover art. I have the original poster of this film. 
Um, it's basically like an alien ripoff, but it's so much more than that. Like, it's a ton, a ton of fun. Just a really, really uh, dope movie. I really like this. And, of course, going back to uh, the same old thing, I did pick it up on Blu-ray as well. Um, the cool thing about this, if I can, you know, even get this open and show you guys, is that... Um, Shout Factory does the coolest thing. They have reverse covers on these, so while you can have, you know, the um, the Blu-ray or DVD like that, they actually have a reverse cover of the alternate of some of the alternate titles of this film. So this film is actually called Meat was um, originally uh, titled Mutant at some point. So they, you know, you can flip it any way you want it, and it's just like, dude, like that is, you know, another huge reason to really love Shout Factory because it's like how many companies out there actually do that. So, I mean, I might even like get around to doing that, like flip, um, you know, the Blu-ray to Mutant and the DVD, just keep it on Forbidden World. But that's really cool. I believe Galaxy of Terror is like that too, but I, I know Death Race is like that too. And interestingly enough, I did get Death Race 2000 on Blu-ray. I had originally gotten uh, the DVD of it back in June, but I just really fell in love with this collection, so I had to scoop this up. And uh, there was actually a sale on this on Amazon at one point, so I got this for cheaper than normal, but this movie's really, really awesome. I will actually be reviewing this film in the near future, so uh, keep your eyes peeled in the upcoming weeks for when the review for this film hits. Um, really cool one. Very, very fucking cool one coming up. It's really nice to know people, friends of friends that attend San Diego Comic-Con, because the man, Roger Corman, was there pimping um, the Roger Corman cult classics line, and he was accompanied by uh, the director of Forbidden World, as well as one of my favorite directors of all time, Joe Dante, the man responsible for Piranha and Gremlins and Matinee. So a friend of a friend was there, and they were actually selling copies of the Blu-ray, signed, Roger Corman and Joe Dante were signing them for a mere $25. So I am proud to say that I have a signed Piranha Blu-ray signed by Roger Corman himself and Joe Dante. For $25, bucks, like you would be spending $22 on this Blu-ray alone through Amazon. So for like an extra $3, you have both those legends on this. So I am so pleased to have this. This is just a really, really cool... Uh, cool flick to have, uh, especially autographed by those, you know, two amazing guys. Um, and of course I bought, um, I actually received that before the DVD officially came out. So uh, I scooped up the DVD. I had it uh, on pre-order through Amazon and the DVD was worth it too, because it has a, a lenticular cover um, of like the Swedish, I believe that's the Swedish uh, movie poster, but uh, this movie is awesome. I love this movie. It's a great Joe Dante. It's, you know, it's a Corman staple. This is probably one of the best films that Corman ever put out. And of course it was just recently remade in 3D. You can see my review of that in uh, the At The Movies playlist, but you know, I absolutely will be reviewing this one in the future as well. I love this movie to hell, and uh, the additions of these are, of course, awesome as well. Um, we have more Roger Corman's cult classics. I got uh, the DVD of Humanoids from the Deep. Awesome. Another one um, of the best ones from the Corman catalog. I actually... I couldn't believe, um, you know, I, I kind of expected that I was going to have some kind of love for this, but I didn't really expect to like it as much as I did. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite Corman films now. Just a really, really fucking good time. And, of course, like any true Corman enthusiast, had to get it on Blu-ray. But I scooped this up at the same time that I got, like, Death Race, too, because uh, there was a really, really good sale going on for the Corman Blu-rays. So I think I only got this for, like, 13 or something or 12 maybe so it's a good deal so i'm happy to have this one on. i only watched it on dvd so i'll get around to watching the blu-ray the the next go around um and of course being a huge huge supporter of rock and roll high school that being one of my favorite films of all time i had to scoop it up on uh dvd i have the blu-ray and the original 2005 um release of the film so i have this film uh three times now and it's well worth it because this film fucking kicks ass you have ramones you have chicks you have destruction of a school you have anarchy it's awesome what more do you want it's probably the easily one of the best Corman films. Well, I'm going to cut the video off here, guys. Tune in to part two of my September CB, uh, my September 7th DVD update, and uh, I'll see you guys in all the uh, you know future installments of this video. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Frightener22.